new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in. guys, Bill Cimatel, motor guide. Hopefully you guys like that little transition. I had to show this boat running my cat with the motor guide. Um, it's just a cool looking trolling motor. But I want to do a quick review. I was uh, fortunate enough to be on the testing team for motor guide almost three years ago. I was able to have the first tour out here on the West Coast. I did a lot of R&D on it. Um, we, we worked with it. I mean, it's come a long, long way, and I'm telling you, by far, this is the best trolling motor I have ever had on my Bass Cat. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some key features real quick. Um, I do have a list. That's why we came back into the garage, um, so you could hear me a little bit better, and we can go over some really cool features. My favorite thing about the Tour Pro, and this is after almost three years of working with it, um, changing out the motor from an older motor super easy motor guide really came through with understanding hole placements and everything so mounting the the base unit was super super you know easy one two three the other cool feature i did not have to drill another hole for a gps puck i hate drilling holes in my bass cat but um, the cool thing is, is the motor guide has the gps mounted inside the head unit so you have more accuracy with your anchor mode for when you're spot locking and the gps you don't have to drill extra holes this is by far the coolest feature. This is a true cable-driven trolling motor. This means a lot. Um, you're going to find out some cool information um, in this video real quick on why this takes this trolling motor to another level compared to other trolling motors. So when Murphy Law comes knocking, you're going to see why this is such an important, important trolling motor. Um, after setting up the trolling motor, um, when I got it a few years ago, Super easy to set up um, your GPS and your alignment. Get out on the water. You're going to drop your trolling motor down. Um, you're going to get your key fob. You're going to hit M111. 
and you're going to do the big motor and you're going to do a couple rotations. There's a bunch of videos out there on YouTube already that shows how this works. Um, I actually did one when I first got it years ago. It locks in, takes about a couple minutes. I like doing this process twice to get as many satellites as possible. A key note, if you go from your home lake to another lake that's 40, 50, 60 miles away, it might be a good idea to reset and do some more GPS uh, coordinates on it. So I do it twice. So if I went from Cast Lake to say Clear Lake, Havasu, Mead, Mojave, I would do the system again. So I have the most up-to-date closest satellites for my head unit. So I have the most accuracy when I put on my anchor lock. So M111, you do your calibration for GP GPS. Then you're gonna drop the trolling motor down, lower unit straight ahead in line with your arrow. Foot pedal horizontal, everything's right. You push M112, your alignment's done. That's it. You're ready to rock and roll. Have your key fob ready. Go to motorguide.com. There's a bunch of information. I'll put some other links here a little bit uh, further in this video, but this key fob is magical for you guys. So don't lose it and have it ready at hand. <clears throat> so after you get your trolling motor set up with your GPS and calibration, what I like to do since it is a cable driven, but it's power steering, what I like to do is I, I like to set the resistance for my cable. So you can do M231 through 235, and you could adjust the resistance you're going to feel on your cable. I like a more stiff, stiffer cable. There right. might be people out there that like a little bit lighter touch. The cool part about this, and this is where the magic comes in with Motor Guide, and this is why they are so, man, forward thinking over there, is their team at Motor Guide is understanding that there could be issues in anything techie that if you have something go glitchy at all and you're fishing a tournament or fun fishing or just out on the water that you can literally hit m288 and it disengages the power steering and this becomes a standard cable driven trolling motor this is why this is so forward thinking on a trolling motor other companies that don't have this capability if something goes wrong, you're dead in the water. You're not going anywhere. You're going to pull your boat up on the bank or you're going to go home. The cool thing about this is if I'm out on the water and something, anything remotely goes glitchy, the foot pedal's having a hard time, it's jumping around, I'm not hitting spot lock, the anchor mode's having an issue, anything, man, I go old school, M288, disengage the power unit. I'm old school tro uh, cable driven trolling motor and I'm rocking and rolling and I'm fishing all day long. Cool thing is you can put it back in power steering by hitting M287 and it goes right back into the system. Now, here's the biggest thing. If you have an older Motor Guide Tour Pro, the cool thing about it is, is there's software updates. So you can go to motorguide.com, click under owner's resource. They have software updates and the tour series facts. Okay. The really cool feature, if you guys have an old motor guide, uh, tour 109 or the newer ones are already set up. The cool thing is you can go to motorguide.com. You click on owner's resource. You're going to look underneath uh, tour pro software updates or the tour series facts. And you can order. There's a, a way to order this unit. It's a USB drive. And basically, you can update your trolling motor. So if you have an older trolling motor, the easiest part to see if you have an updated trolling motor, look down here by my fingers, you see the lights flashing? My trolling motor is completely up to date. So when I have the power in, the battery's working, the system's actually searching for satellites, it's on. So I have an up-to-date trolling motor. If you have, if you have power in, and you don't have any lights, you don't have an up-to-date trolling motor. So order this unit, it'll come preset with the version H upgrades. You can take your older trolling motor and actually update it to give it all the new features. So that's the really cool thing about uh, Motor Guide. You can take this thing and keep up-to-date with it um, while you're here at the house or out on the water. The, the other cool feature about this, for the techie guys out there, this has a diagnostic mode that can help in repairs. So there's videos out there. You're going to get a hold of Motor Guide if you need it. You're going, to, you um, have, you're going to have the facts information, all the stuff from troubleshooting, maintenance, calibration, installation is over on motorguide.com underneath the owner's resource. 
So cool features on that. Here's one of the cool features that Motor Guide wanted me to explain to you guys. Now, <clears throat> I don't have really up-to-date Lawrence Electronics. The last few years, I've been doing kids' tournaments, so everything that I got, I donated back to the youth. So I'm behind the times in my Lawrence, even though they are still serving me well. But the new units, the really cool thing is you can hook up the Tour Motor Guide directly into your Lawrence through the NEMA cables, okay? When you do that, you can literally go onto your Lawrence units, you can go to settings and you could walk through into autopilot and it, go, it has a go-to feature, which is extremely powerful. So I'll see if I could put some information on this or we're going to have to do another updated video when I get my new graphs. They're going to be coming soon. But like I said, for almost a three-year review on the trolling motor, the biggest thing on the Tour Pro is this is one of the best trolling motors I have ever had. I love the ease of use. The, the ease of installation. I love the power uh, steering cable system. And then I love the option that if anything goes wrong, I could take it out of power steering and just have a standard cable driven troller motor. Remember again, look at your power unit. If you have a newer system, when I come home and I see the power still plugged in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the power. I don't want this, if it's a computer, I don't want this thing to keep searching for satellites, uh, drawing down battery anything like that so i disengage it when i get to the lake i re-engage it and i'm ready to rock and roll i hope you guys like this remember you know follow along with motor guide social media check them out they have a lot of cool stuff coming out um, they'll be up to dates with all the information they're tech people their company is super awesome if you have any issues reach out to them they'll help you if you need help reach out to me i'll make sure i'll not conduit between you two to make sure everything's working right Remember, this is a cable driven uh, system, so make sure the cables are laid flat when you mount this. Don't put a lot of tie, tie straps on this to influence or bind these cables so this unit doesn't work. There's a lot of information. Make sure you check out Motor Guide's YouTube channel. They have a lot of update uh, information on that, on everything from mounting to update to fixing the sleeve cover if you have an issue with that. So these guys are really, forward thinking they're they're ahead of the game taking care of uh anglers out there with their their equipment make sure you follow along with the bbz tv on youtube and the bbz.com for more information on motor guide all the sponsors that help support this page hope you guys enjoy this get out on the water if you guys see me if you have any questions ask me about the tour pro man i'll let you jump on the boat you can check it out it's really cool um super quiet the thing is just money so hope you guys enjoy this little uh, tutorial on the motor guide and a, a two and a half year review on this the system and i'm telling you what i love it make sure you guys keep it in the bbz we'll catch you next time out on the water see ya